just gonna pull the gun in the way so they don't think that we're hitting the that's right there you go see so guys it doesn't drop free he's hitting it magazine doesn't finally fall down finally, finally after like three tries i'm having trouble with this m and here the mags don't drop free and i think we figured it out on this one which has no problem you can see the slide stop is on top of the follower on this one which has the problem the slide stop is on the side of the follower and it's impeding the magazine falling out so again you can see this one this, this is a good one it doesn't have any issues this one it's just not falling. It's not dropping free because of it. Also, this is a this is an old follower. This is an old follower, an MMP right. redesigned their follower, and it seems like the new ones they redesigned are having these issues. Got it. Yeah, and that's I talked right. to I talked to MMP about this because they said they wanted that last round of feed feed easier or feed better, but it seems to be a problem now because I've seen I've heard of this. I've seen this uh, on some on some other pistols, and there it is. There it is. Do that. That is the new follower, yep. which, which has the issues. Yep, the old, old follower, follower no problem at all. It drops free every time. So I, I don't think it's necessarily the, the California compliant magazines that have this issue. It's the followers. Right, Sean? Yes. All right, thank you. Go ahead, Sean. All right, so this is a magazine we're having problems with, as you see. The magazine follower is rounded here where the slide stop uh, engages. Mm -hmm. So we're having problems with the slide stop slipping off and catching on the end of this uh, follower. So what Smith & Wesson did was sent up some sent us some new followers, which as you can see, there's a lot more space for the slide stop to catch on this new follower. So what they did, what they did is it kind of went back to the original design. But a little different. A little different, pretty, a lot more. You can see the lip on that's a lot yeah. more a lot more area for the uh, slide stop to catch on to. So Smith & Wesson went to, to this design. I guess they had a lot of issues with it. So now what they did is they, went, they took a step backwards and pretty much uh, went with their original design and kind of just a little difference. It's tapered just a little bit on this edge right here. Right. The very original ones were pretty square there. But you can see here that that should work fine now. It's got a lot of a lot of area there for the, uh, the uh, slide stop to... Uh, to, to catch. Which All right, so we're going to install the, the new ones, the new old ones. <laughs> yeah, the new <laughs> old ones. And see how it goes. Exactly. All right. So we just installed the new magazine followers. We're just going to run the gun, see uh, how they drop free. I've had tremendous issues that just do not want to drop free. Let's see how these new magazine uh, followers work. Ready, fire. Wow, look at that. Right out. Right out. <laughs> Right out. So, very happy with these. Trust me, guys, I just couldn't get them to fall out. I have to strip them every so often, they would, depending on how that slide stop caught on it. But uh, and that, now, that magazine that was doing it every time. Every single time. Uh, this magazine would just not run at all. I mean, 10 rounder magazine, California compliant. And I, I thought it was the 10 rounder.